Welcome back. And uh, for the second year, uh, Al-Azhar is taking place and participating in the Cairo International uh, Book Fair. Al-Azhar aims at uh, communicating with different sects of society and uh, in order to prevail uh, peace, uh, fighting extremism and many other uh, aims. To talk more about the role of Azhar this year in the uh, Book Fair, we are joined by Mr. Saeed Kishka, and he's a researcher and a translator at the Higher Committee of Al-Azhar and uh, Mr. Ahmed al Azabi, and he's professor of linguistics at the Al-Azhar University. Hanal, welcome to our show. Well, good Hello. afternoon. Uh, first of all, um, would you talk to us about Al-Azhar's participation in this year's uh, book fair? As Dina mentioned, uh, there are so many things taking place in addition to publications, uh, of course, of uh, especially the uh, section of uh, uh, sector of translation, the translation department. We have conferences and seminars, and as Dina mentioned, uh, we are raising the public you are raising the public awareness about uh, Jerusalem as well so uh, first uh, Dr. Ahmed would you like to start by telling us uh, more about the activities and the schedules of it Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah I would like first of all to introduce an uh, act or Al-Azhar Center for Translation Al-Azhar Center for Translation was established only 15 months ago, just um, more than one year ago. Uh, since then, we had the mission of uh, propagating the tolerance of Islam, telling the people what true Islam is. And by the way, this is the name of our uh, series called True Islam Series. We have 13 languages now. We, we translate books basically from Arabic. Sometimes we translate from English into Arabic. Sometimes from Ar most of the time from Arabic into English. We, uh, we have a group of scholars, of other scholars, who select specific books that serve our mission and our vision. These books are translated into 13 different languages. And uh, I'm the, uh, uh, the one responsible for the revision of the books translated into English, from English into Arabic and from Arabic into English. Uh, we have done 13 books so far. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, within the talk, I'll, I'll give you a brief idea about each one of them. But the whole uh, idea behind the translation is twofold. On the one hand, we are targeting the West. You know that English language is spoken in most of the countries of the world, basically in Western countries. Uh, we are addressing those people in order to show the tolerance of Islam, the real image of Islam. I believe that some people might disagree with me, but I believe that uh, the West, in particular, is a very important uh, place that we are addressing, a very important uh, uh, culture that we are, we are addressing. Uh, this culture, some, some people there tell lies and they believe them. And our mission is to correct the misconceptions about Islam. Mm -hmm. That's why we choose books that show the real image of Islam, the beauty of Islam, the tolerance, that Islam has nothing to do with terrorism, with fanaticism. And we can talk about this, and I have a sample of the books that have been translated into English. Mr. Uh, uh, Saeed, this is the second uh, consecutive year that uh, the author is uh, participating in the International Cairo Book Fair. What's different this year the author is offering? Well, in the name of Allah, the merciful and the gracious, uh, uh, all praise is due to Allah and may God's peace and the blessings upon the prophets and his companions, his family and uh, all past prophets and messengers and uh, upon all audience. Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatuhu wa barakatuh. Uh, thank you for inviting us uh, uh, for coming and giving such great opportunity uh, and uh, alhamdulillah alladhi ja'alana muslimin. Uh, 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 thanks to God that Allah had made us as Muslims and among the best nations that Allah has created for all people. Uh, 
and uh, which has characterized in the Holy Quran as a moderate and just uh, uh, and uh, moderate and just and middle ummah. كذلك جعلناكم أمة وسطا. الله سبحانه وتعالى has has made us as a middle and just and moderate umma to be witness for all people. Last year, or Lazhar University and Lazhar as a whole and all sectors of Lazhar is working last year and this year and participated in international book fair. Uh, generally, the main objective of that is, as, uh, as our professors told us, that to um, uh, 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 fix and um, uh, reshape the disfigured image of Islam and to shed the light of the tolerance of the Islamic religions, uh, which is totally far in every respect of word from extremism and fascism that is, uh, have been advocated by a lot of tourist groups and a lot of extremists just to um, attract the young peoples. Lazar University has participated and or Lazar as a whole, I'm, I'm sorry, which I'm, well, well, I'm talking about Lazar, I'm talking about the whole sectors of Lazar, which is including uh, Lazar Center translations, uh, Lazar observers, and academics, uh, academic research of, uh, of Islamic, um, uh, all of these, all of them are working at a one body to protect the Egyptian society from what's going on around from uh, such uh, effective campaign to recruit the young people uh, to be uh, 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 to justify and to um, justify uh, uh, killing and threaten the, the, the uh, innocent people. So last year we have a main branch of Lazar's in international book fair, uh, but this year is a little bit wider than that. As our professor told that that uh, act or uh, uh, Lazar Center for Translations just about 15, uh, 15 months ago. That's why uh, last year we, we did not participate as this year. I mean, this year we are participating in about 30 languages. We are participating in a range uh, of a lot of parks. Uh, w what's happening in the current critical periods makes Lazar under the supervision of the Grand Imam to focus on spreading the message of, uh, of Islam, which is a moderate message of Islam, which has been adopted by Lazar University for a long time ago uh, and uh, 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 under the supervision of uh, Professor His Eminence, uh, Dr. Uh, Ahmed uh, Atay. So last year we participated in International Book Fair and this year we are participating but a little bit more wider with more books, with more uh, institutes. Uh, recently, and since uh, uh, the Grand Imam uh, and the Grand Sheikh of Lazar, Professor Ahmed Taib, uh, since he came in power, um, he um, notes that we, we have to um, try to, uh, what you call it, refute the misconceptions which is, um, uh, which is around Islam all over the world, that we have to improve the communications between the East and the West, that we have to make something to target the Western and non-Muslims readers. That's why uh, a year after a year, we are improving the communications between, uh, uh, between the Lazhar and the public. A lot of initiatives has been launched by Islamic researchers and by uh, Al-Azhar Center translations. For example, I mean, uh, one of the latest activities that Al-Azhar uh, Al as a whole, uh, one of its sectors like Islamic Researchers Academy, even they try to improve the communications between the public and Lazar University and make something, they call it uh, cafe breaches. Imagine that after seeking permissions of the owner of the cafe, they are starting chatting with people and talking about seriously dealing with the daily life of each one. And um, Lazar Center Translation has participated, for example, last year, but not exactly with a great number of Bach. So uh, recently, uh, Lazhar University, uh, uh, sorry, I'm talking about Lazhar uh, sectors, which is Lazhar University, Lazhar Sheikhdom, uh, Lazhar Observer, uh, all of them, they are working at the one party, as, as I said, generally speaking, to protect the Egyptian society, the young people, from, um, from such, uh, uh, what so call it, extremist groups, or uh, who try to uh, wage and launch effective campaign to attract and to recruit the young people to be one of their battlefield. So uh, generally, we participated last year, but this year we're participating more and more and wider and, and next, next year, inshallah, under the supervision of the Grand Imam uh, Professor Ahmed Taib, we're going uh, to participate in a wider range, inshallah.
One of uh, the main uh, things on the agenda of Al Azhar this year, uh, as part of the Cairo International uh, Book Fair, is raising uh, the uh, public awareness about uh, both the Jerusalem and the, the Rohingya uh, crises. So, how are you tackling these issues here at the book fair, dealing um, with the public concerning these two topics? If I heard the question well, you're asking about specific books that were published recently yeah. by which other which centers. Which the doctor talks about uh, supporting Jerusalem. Jerusalem okay, and yeah. I understand that you're also calling for that as part of the book fair activities. Yeah, yeah. we have. And even doctor, uh, we have participated with a conference. Yes. A conference yes. that's under the perfect supervision of the Grand Imam uh, last, last month. Mm -hmm. We have made um, a conference, international conference in support for Jerusalem just about mm -hmm. a month ago, yes. which is held in, which held in Lazhar Center mm -hmm. uh, conference. Mm -hmm. And here, even in an in, in international book fair, doctor, there is a pot mm -hmm. for Jerusalem mm -hmm. itself, which is, um, it's open questions that everyone can ask about uh, mm -hmm. Jerusalem just, just to revive mm -hmm. the case mm -hmm. in, in, inside the heart. Of, of the young people and the people who came to uh, to visit uh, 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 international book fair. So, if, if your question is about yes, supporting Jerusalem, yeah, yeah, so um, yes. as for uh, the relationship between both patients in international book fair yes. and supporting Jerusalem, yes. we support Jerusalem not only in international book fair but under under the supervision of Grand Imam. We, we made about a month ago. Um, at international yes, conference yes. about in supporting of Jerusalem and Dr. Ahmed was the interpreter of the conference itself. Doctor, you've mentioned that there is a book about Jerusalem, so would you like to tell us more about that publication that you've just mentioned? Mm -hmm. You about were talking about publications, about yeah. Jerusalem right. and, and about the publications uh, here at the book fair, so would you brief us about uh, uh, the publications, please? Sure. Um, we started with three books last year. Mm -hmm. which uh, were achieved before the uh, un -exhib exhibited in the uh, book fair last year. Mm -hmm. The three books were um, Muslim Perspective of Human Values, which is translation of Al-Qiyam uh, al-Islam uh, by Mahmoud, um, uh, Mahmoud Hamdi Zakzouk, uh, the ex-minister uh, of Waqf, of uh, in domains. Uh, another book was Muslim Conception of War, which is translation of. Would you would you show us the books as well, yeah. please? This is a Muslim perspective of human values mm -hmm. by Professor uh, Mahmoud Hamdi Zakzouk, mm -hmm. and it's a, an interesting book because it shows the uh, civilizational aspect of. Islam. Mm -hmm. It shows that Islam uh, has this beautiful mm -hmm. aspect, which is prayer even to the yes. Western uh, culture. Mm -hmm. And another book which is really important is a Muslim conception of war, which is translation of Nazaret al Harb fil Islam by Imam uh, Muhammad Abu Zahra. Mm -hmm. It shows that Islam is not a religion of war, but when we have to wa fight, mm -hmm. we do fight, but we still have values, and these values are observed during the war, and uh, the, the prisoners of wars are treated well, and, and, and that Muslims never uh, breach their treaties with their enemies, even with their enemies. Uh, a very important book, one of the early, uh, public our early publications is by an Imam, Al Akbar Grand Imam Sheikh Ahmed Taib, which is called Essential Features of Islam, and it's a mm. translation of his book Muqawimat al Islam. Mm. It has two sections one about uh, the values, the worships, and one about the dealings, the, the everyday dealings. And actually, it's an interesting book because it shows to non Muslims uh, uh, what is real Islam is. And I want to uh, say something that uh, I put in, in my foreword to these three books, which are the, the early uh, wave of our publications. Um, Imam Akbar said, the Grand Imam mm. said once, that 
in these books, we are not trying to convert people into Islam, but we are trying to show them the real image of Islam, the tolerance of Islam. And I think this is new. This is new. Uh, this approach is new to Al Azhar. Uh, I mean, uh, the Grand Imam Sheikh Ahmed Al Tayyib says something that I never heard at Al Azhar before. It doesn't say anymore, Al Azhar doesn't say anymore that our main purpose is to convert other people into Islam. But it says we accept everyone as he is or as she, as she is. But our objective is that we live in peace together and that this is real Islam. It's not the, uh, the, the image that has been uh, uh, depicted in the West and that has been propagated, which is a false, way, false image. Uh, now, that was the early wave of our publications that was exhibited in last year's book fair. Mm -hmm. This year we have uh, eight more titles. Mm -hmm. We had a full year. We achieved these three books in three months, uh -huh. in, from Octo October to December uh, 2016, and in the book fair, to January 2017 or February 2017, mm -hmm. we exhibited these three books. This year we have eight more titles, uh, ranging between speeches by Grand Imam uh, in different occasions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's very important because it shows his attitude, which mm -hmm. is actually the mm -hmm. attitude of Islam itself towards mm -hmm. the others, mm -hmm. the different others, and his tolerance and his taking care of the Christians in Egypt and his uh, uh, special concern about interfaith dialogue, inviting the Pope uh, uh, to conferences in, uh, at Al-Azhar, held by Al-Azhar, and inviting clergymen from the church, talking to them and showing them the real intention of uh, Al Azhar now. It seems we, it seems we have many uh, books and we have uh, many uh, topics to talk about uh, concerning the Azhar and its role, especially uh, this year in the Cairo International uh, Book uh, Fair. Uh, Mr. Ahmed Al Azabi, uh, Professor of Linguistics at Al Azhar University, thank you very much for joining us. Thank and uh, Mr. Saeed uh, Keshke, researcher and uh, translator at uh, Al Azhar University. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for inviting for us, Saeed, for giving us such a great opportunity. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much, thank professors. For and us. actually, Al Azhar booth is one and sections is one of the most interesting sections for those who are interesting to know more about Islam and uh, Egypt's approach, and of course, Al Azhar's approach to it. And we invite all the visitors to look at the Al Azhar booth here at the Cairo International Book Fair. But now, let's enjoy together uh, the coming song uh, it's uh, called Ala Hizb Nil and it's related to uh, the unity of uh, uh, the African continent and how uh, the Nile River uh, joins us uh, together all in love and harmony and it's sang by Shandu. Mm -hmm. 